Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to the session. As part of the session, we will quickly talk about the accreditation that we have with State University of New York and the kind of benefits that you might get as students. Okay. First of all, let me tell you that 360 Digit MG has accreditation from State University of New York, which is the largest university of US. Point number one. Then we also have certain rankings of State University of New York. <clears throat> it is ranked in 78th position, okay, in regional universities in uh, North uh, region. And uh, these are a few other rankings of this particular university. Any university which has ranking under 100 is considered to be a very good university and it has a lush green beautiful campus and it, it is the largest university by the way in US. And these are the various programs uh, which one can obtain from State University of New York. And these are only for our students who completed their trainings. Okay, only if you completed your data analytics training, you would be eligible to opt for diploma in data analytics all these modules would be coming from you know state university of new york and the industry experts who work with state university of new york they are the people who have already delivered those sessions and they are given to you for 6 months 6 months access is what you will have and <clears throat> in most of the courses if you have any doubts you can raise the queries and those industry experts and the professors from State University of New York would actually help you clarify those doubts. People who complete data engineering training with us are eligible to opt for diploma in data engineering. While you're going to have six months access for the first five programs, you can also complete those in three months. Okay. Next, we have diploma in data science which is for our students who completed their CDS program. People who complete PDS program <clears throat> are eligible for all three, diploma in artificial intelligence, or they can also opt for diploma in machine learning. And diploma in machine learning is also applicable for our students who complete their certificate program in data science as well as professional certificate in data science. This is only for those students who completed their PDS, professional uh, certificate program in data science. This is for certificate program in data science too, uh, for, for those students. Data engineering for is for our students who completed data engineering training. And this is for our students who completed data analytics trainings. Okay. We also have a flagship program, which is PG Diploma in Data Science and Deployment Specialist. It will read as your certified. This is to certify that Barani Kumar has obtained PG Diploma in Data Science and Deployment Specialist. In that way, you will get it. While this is six months program, this is applicable only for students who complete their PDS program. Only for PDS students, it is applicable. Okay. And <clears throat> since as part of the PDS program, you would have already completed uh, six months training. In order to complete this PDDS, which is 12 months, would now become six months. If someone wants to do right from the beginning, it's a 12 months program. If someone wants to do post year periods, it's a six months program. And the best part here is this part, wherein you'll be given a conditional offer letter from InnoDataTix. And the minimum pay package would be 4.5 lakhs per annum. That means at the end of six months, you'll start working with InnoDataTix and your salaries will be 4.5 lakhs per annum. Okay. Of course, uh, for the students who completed PDS, there'll be two things. One is you'll have an entrance exam, which is aptitude based, multiple choice questions, 
and you'll have to answer those. You'll have to get 70% uh, and above. And also there'll be a personal interview to gauge your communication skills, et cetera. And if you clear these two, you can be onboarded to this program. Since you already completed six months of PDS, you just need to spend another six months and you'll also get one conditional offer letter from InnoDataTix, okay? And uh, the minimum pay, cap, pay package would be 4.5 lakhs per annum. So that means as soon as you successfully complete this, right from the next month onwards, you'll be on InnoDataTix payrolls and you start getting salary. Okay, that, that aside, for all of these programs, there is a generic grading system. Okay, you have a grading system available. As part of the grading system, if students get 95% above, 95% and above, they'd be called as A plus and they would be considered to be a gold medalist. And automatically you fall into the job guarantee program. Okay, so everyone, not just we, but we also have uh, NEF, National Education Foundation. They will also help you, guide you, you know, in order to ensure that you get jobs, not just in India, but also overseas, in Dubai, in USA, so on and so forth. Uh, don't you worry, the session is getting recorded. The recorded video will be put on our YouTube channel and we'll share that link also for your future reference. If you get greater than 90%, greater than or equal to 90%, you'd get A grade. If you get 60 to 89%, you'd be B grade. Less than 60, it'll be C grade. <clears throat> that means you fail. You can retake the exam, two attempts are allowed. So one more attempt would be given when you have to go through the entire uh, videos once again, and then you have to take the exam. These are the programs that we have. Okay. Having said that, I'll quickly go through the content also. If it is certificate program in data analytics, friends, you learn about TIPCO spot fire. Again, you learn about Power BI. <clears throat> how do you develop business intelligence applications and how do you maintain them? How do you design the BI uh, solutions? How do you work on Splunk or Splunk, however people want to call that? base uh, SAS 9 programming. Uh, you'll be learning on graph analytics also. Certain predictive modeling techniques, not that relevant for data analytics, but yes, some amount of knowledge is needed. So you'll be trained on that. You'll also understand how to analyze big data if you get that. And you'll understand how to work on Snowflake. Okay, and... Um, of course, graph analytics is again repeated, but then you'll also have Azure data analytics. So you'll also be specializing on one of the cloud platforms and that's the sample certificate that you'd get. Then <clears throat> for students who have completed their data engineering, you would understand data warehouse, streaming data architectures. If you have streaming data coming your way, like credit card transactions, or data from IoT sensors, you learn those. You would understand the government policies pertaining to data and how uh, the access is provided, data architecture, Hive, you know, um, data engineering fundamentals, data lakes, building your data pipelines. How do you deploy your solutions on edge or how do you get the data from edge? Let me put it that way. All right, and then data rollbacks, so on and so forth. Also, you would specialize on two platforms. One is Google Data Engineer and Data Engineering on Microsoft Azure. So you'll be specializing on both of these cloud platforms. <clears throat> There's a huge demand for data engineering and the kind of demand is more than data science now. Competition will be very less. Okay, anyways. We also have artificial intelligence stream. As part of this, you would be spending a lot of time on TensorFlow, net, um, you know, neural networks, so on and so forth. But the best part is reusable AI architecture patterns. How do you become an AI architect? Then AI enterprise planning, framework overview, right? Um, how do you make use of AI and robotics? What do you mean by cognitive models? How do you get into AI architect, you know, kind of a role? business and leadership roles, 
you know you can get into thanks to these things and also you learn about productivity tools for ai next <clears throat> we also have data uh, diploma in machine learning where the best part is you'll again specialize in microsoft azure machine learning then you learn about <clears throat> automation and robotics you learn about uh, exploring machine learning you learn about various uh, bayesian uh, machine learning techniques machine learning engineering techniques what are the best practices followed there are four different tracks for you to become a machine learning architect AI architect is different. Machine learning architect is different. All the four tracks you'll be able to complete. And once again, you, you'll be focusing on the business and leadership aspects so that you get into the senior management position. I would recommend you know these kind of programs for people who have um, roughly eight plus years of experience working in whatever field. Right? It makes sense right? because you need to get into the senior position as opposed to junior roles. All right, so this is all that I had. I'll take you your attention back to this and you can ask me uh, questions if you have any. I'll just stop this recording now.